Hello everyone, name's Dorian. Uh, welcome to this type of video, it's, it seems kind of weird, but um, this is sort of a response video to people uh, talking on the internet about gill making here in Final Fantasy XIV. Um, now I guess to start off, everyone has begged the question, uh, a lot of new players and old, uh, talking about, you know, what's the best way to make gill here in this game? Now, uh, it, it, it's a bit hard to say, you know, a lot of people, including myself, has answered that question to follow the trends. The idea that, you know, you go to the market board, see what items are being sold high and constantly, uh, or maybe if there's a patch going to be coming out soon, you want to see and kind of predict like what items can be sold high and constantly when that patch comes out and so forth. Um, however, you know, that, that, question, uh, that question and answer complex can be a bit intimidating knowing that, you know, people need to do their homeworks and look into the market board, kind of spending their life there uh, and, you know, so forth. So uh, hopefully this video will introduce you guys some trends that I follow so that you guys can start creating your guild making process. Hopefully you guys don't feel too frugal uh, with the guild that you have right now and that you guys can make guild uh, without being worries, worrisome of the guild that you have right now. So, um, I guess to start off, uh, as a response to other people talking about guild making, a lot of people have been saying that this patch and a couple patches from before have been saying that, um, you know, the market's not been good lately, uh, a, a lot of their items are not being sold constantly, or that, you know, not a lot of people are making guild to satisfy themselves, um, blah blah blah. Well. I say otherwise, um, not only that this patch has been very well in my guild making process, but honestly I think that patch wise, I mean surely it will affect the market, but it depends on how you deal with the market that you can make guild no matter when you, you know, when you play. Um, and that you don't, you know, you kind of keep this constant flow of guild um, either every day or every week so that, you know, you gain enough either slowly or I guess if you're lucky pretty high. So this is an introduction uh, to the trends and to introduce you guys of the market. If you guys have, you know, have not, you know, been in the gill making process and maybe want to start. So I guess to introduce first, you want to go, you want to choose uh, two paths to take. Now, um, I say these two tasks, you know, these two tasks can allow you to make gill no matter what. Uh, it all depends on your activeness and dedication or time commitment uh, towards the market and just Final Fantasy XIV as a whole. The idea is that you know how much how much time you want to you can spend in this game. Uh, one path that you can take, which is what I take, is quick gill. The idea that you uh, that you have items that are going to be sold uh, instantly, and that once that item is sold, you have uh, that slot to to either put more items in, uh, either the same item or different items that you know is going to be sold constantly, so that no matter what, every day you keep a constant source of gill, whether that be small or huge. Can be dependent of the item itself but you can still keep this constant flow of gill so that every day uh, since you are playing you can keep making this gill process and slowly but surely you can see your currency grow and grow the second path that you can go for which is a little bit riskier however though um, it really depends on your your time that you spend in final fantasy 14 is big gill the idea that um, the item that you sell ca can be sold really high and it will stay that high But you don't know if that item is going to be sold uh, in a day, maybe not even in, in a week um, It might be sold later on, but it's not going to be sold instantly So that that item is going to be stuck uh, with that retainer slot for God knows who, you know, who knows when And you know that can be okay for some people because you know you might not be playing this game every day so you're not, you know, you're you're not consistently selling every day, so you don't need that slot to be open up. So again, it all depends on how long you play. I I for one have been, you know, been playing every day about, you know, 1 to 2 hours and uh, I've been constantly just just grinding to get items that I know is going to sell well and sell quick 
so that the next day or maybe in a couple hours I can fill the slots again with more items and I guess I can show you guys that right now let's go to the summoning, uh, summoning bell so now I have five retainers that might be a bit overkill for some players I honestly say having two retainers is is enough to keep you guys uh, with enough gill uh, gil making to 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 comprehend um, however though uh, in, in my stance, I do make a lot of gill and having five retainers does help me uh, boost up uh, the gill making process that I have. You know, you do need to spend real money though to get more retainers. I have three, uh, one from the companion app uh, subscription and two from the actual extra retainers. And again, I think honestly two, two retainers is, is good. Um, I just want more space for items to sell because I, I've been gathering a lot of items recently so I want to sell as much as possible. But anyways, you can see here that um, the guild that my retainers have and even the guild that I have now in my wallet, I have a lot. Um, this is just because of the fact that I keep a constant source of guild flowing and selling items, uh, keep uh, checking to make sure that the items are sold within a, you know, a right amount of price that I know that people are going to buy instantly and so forth. I, I follow the quick gill process where I know that people are going to buy and then I can just fill that slot again with more items or I can just wait until the next day until all the items are sold. Now I guess to show you guys let's go to the market board right now and let's check on some items uh, that are you know being sold high and constantly so that you guys can hopefully follow as well. So one item uh, that I honestly haven't been selling as much, but um, I know is, is actually pretty good for quick gill making, is Materia. Um, if you go to the market board and click this item called Materia, you can see that um, a lot of these like Savage Aims, Quick Arms, uh, your Craftsman or Gatherers uh, Materia do sell pretty well. And also pretty consistently as well. Uh, in terms of the you know uh, disciples of war magic, uh, let's take uh, savage aim materia for example. Now, uh, again, do a little bit of research if you guys want, but I know that savage aim materia seven and eight are being sold high and constantly. As we can go here in my server, um, people are selling um, about nine thousand a pop, and then if you check the history, you can see that just today alone there's been over over you know 15 20 uh transactions of this item alone people have been buying you know you know want a pop or or three of this item so you can see that you you can tell based on the date alone and the amount of transactions that this item has been selling constantly and then this item can be gained pretty pretty quickly uh, in terms of uh, in terms of doing duties like getting those uh, crack Stella clusters or whatever they're called that you can trade in in Mordona or your uh, sundries um, that you can get these and sell for you know quite a lot honestly um, however though the the best material that's been selling a lot lately is craftsman now if I can find it somewhere right here now craftsman um, the high craftsman's materia has been selling uh, a lot constantly uh, same with the gatherers as well but especially the crafters here this has been a constant flow and stream you can get this by uh, I usually go through uh, diadem and trading items to get seals in which those seals you can go into the foundation and trade them in for uh, materia the highest one that you can get either seven or eight and you can check um, I think I believe, if I remember correctly, Craftsman Competence Materia Eight is is like the best because you want you know a lot of people want that high craftsmanship. And here you can see that this item alone has been selling uh, you know in small and large batches around over 11k, um, you know 11k a pop. And you can see here that uh, surely this may not be as consistent as before, but in the past three days there's been more than 20 transactions of people buying uh, either you know one a pop or even like 10 or even this person with 35 here. You know people are are buying this item. You know so this is a consistent stream of gil that you want to go to. Um, however though it might be a little bit harder because the only way to get them is uh, through the dia them and gathering and getting uh, getting seals so that you guys can get this item. I think the same goes for um, gathering as well. 
uh, which is the same. You can go to the foundation and trade them for seals. Or I believe it's, um, uh, I think you can get them for white crafter script as well. I, I, I kind of do a lot more diadem, but you know, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, you can even look here like command material as well as is like about the same price as well uh, This has been more consistently. So again, you know, you want to do your research and see that Oh, you know this material is selling. Well, can I get this uh, in a short amount of time? So this this is an item that you know that you can sell maybe five you can you can probably get a lot uh, per week uh, depending on how much you do in the diadem or, or collectibles and you know just sell them and you know there you go there's your constant stream um another constant stream which um i believe works uh works well is grand company uh materials now you know that uh every grand company um they have a quartermaster uh and then that quartermaster sells either weapons armors uh or materials those materials are, can be craftable to use to make other gear as well and and so forth and they cost of course grand company seals the only way to get grand company seals is either to trade in uh, items that they request such as like crafting or gathering items or you trade in uh, items from dungeons uh, these like green items or blue items that you know you can't even sell in the market uh, they're mainly just you know armor or glamour but you can trade them in in your grand company for seals and those seals well you know they're not they're not gill but you can buy items with that seal so that you can sell them for gill um for example um i'm trying to think uh, I know that Emery is an item that is, you can only get in Grand Company, and that's been selling for, I, I guess, less than a thousand. Um, this has not been consistent, sadly, so maybe this is not a good example. Uh, let's see, Petrified Log. Um, has this been sold constantly? Yeah, this is about. So, uh, Petrified Log is, is an item that you can only get in Grand Companies. And here you can see that a lot of people have been buying for uh, in the thousands. So a lot of people have been buying, you know, small quantities or even big quantities as well for that amount of price. And this has been for the past two, uh, three days. So you can tell that this item, uh, if you put it in, might be might be sold. If you kind of lowball it for a way or, or within a low price, uh, you can sell um and get you know a good amount of gill either the day of or the next day so that's another way you can go through you can go through your uh through your grand company and see what items are there or you can go on google as well look up the list of materials and then go through the market board and go through each item and see that oh i see that this item is being sold constantly i want to sell this one so that's another place that you can go to um Another way that you can go to, which I've been doing a, which I have been doing a lot lately, is diadem items. Um, I, I I know you saw uh, from my chat uh, and the pop up that I was sold Umbral Levenites. Now, what is diadem? Diadem is basically um, in foundation or in Ishgar restoration. You can go through this area that you can gather materials. You train them to get approved, and then you use them to craft. Um, you know craft items for the Ishgar restoration uh you know for future housing of course now if we go through the items that you can gather here in the diadem which is a lot to be fair um this gives a lot of flexibility into what you can gather and what you can sell and this has been a constant and i and i mean it a constant source of gill making uh, for example, uh, I, I just sold Levenite and I just got this today. You know, I gathered that today, uh, sold uh, right now, and let's see how much it's been selling for. So Umbral Levenite has been selling, you know, not as much lately. You know, I sold it, I got, you know, in the 6,000s, but that's pretty good, you know. I already, I gained um, 17k gold uh, just from those items, and that's great. Um, not this item, uh, surely that's in the hundreds, but there are items that are sell for great loads of gill. For example, um, I know that Sesame here, Sesame is sold for, you know, above 350, um, and so forth. You can look at the history as well. Everyone's been buying it. This has just been yesterday and today. People have been buying it for the 400s or 500s. And think about it though. 
this this item right here if this is sold right now this guy gets twenty thousand, surely less with tax but this guy gets about nine you know 18 to nineteen thousand uh gil if if someone buys this and people buy this in bulk like you can see that people buy in the 99s uh high bulk right here and you know, with that being said, a seventeen thousand gil is is like the equivalent of a high of a high quality item. You know, like a weapon and so forth. So, if you if if you want to take the chance, if you want to go to the diadem and you know grind to get these items, if you sell like you know three of these, you know you get around like sixty thousand, uh, and you can sell that within a day. Uh, let's check another item. I know that um let's see here i know that alumin has been high yes about 300 spring water has been pretty high not even a lot of people is selling it and this one's been selling for you know in the 500s as well you know um you know uh this is this is my retainer i'm selling it 70 quantity and i'm getting f about 40k gold if I were to sell like an item, like a level 60 item, that is probably how much I'm going to spend. And I know this is going to spend uh, a day, you know, people are going to are going to buy this. Now, again, I am lowballing it, but like, you know, that's kind of the way of the market. If you want to sell quickly, you want to be the lowest you can be because, of course, people are going to buy the lowest price. Um, another item is uh, Umbral items. These are a little bit harder to get in the Diadem. However, though, they are sold higher. Umbral Gale, uh, Galewood Sap is around 500. Uh, Magma Shard is around 500 as well. Um, even other items, Hard Mudstone is, is around the 100s. A lot of these items are in the 100 to 200 range. But however, you do get some items that are pretty up there. 300. Um, I know that Titanium Ore right here is sold also as well. Between 200 to 500. Um, Rock Salt as well. Not a lot of people are buying it, but people have been buying it. Uh, people are not selling enough, but people are buying it for like in the 500s as well. So again, you know, if you sell these kinds of items, you can get amount of gill for a you know for a day, and it's gonna be a lot. Now, um, to the second path that you go to, let's say you're not a average, you know, an average uh, daily player, right? You might play maybe once every other day, or maybe you play like three times a week, maybe less. Uh, however, though, you still want to keep your guild making. So you want to find items that you know it's going to sell high um, and it will stay that high. And you probably, you know, hope to have someone to buy that within that price, maybe in the next week or so. So uh, one item, uh, one type of item that's been selling pretty well. Uh, it, they, they did have a boom uh, recently because of patch 5.35. Uh, and that's because of housing. And I'm going to be talking about furniture. Now, furniture has been dying out, yes, because of course people have been buying already and it, it's kind of been, you know, the housing the housing crisis has been, you know, there, here and there, and everyone already got a house and furniture. So if you go look here, let me see here. I think there's a, oh, housing. So um, indoor, there's indoor fixtures, outdoor furnishing. I think indoor furnishing, where, does that actually have it? Probably not, let's go furnishing. So. If we look through here, a, um, a lot of furniture sells pretty high. Um, mounted bookshelf, like look at this. Uh, surely, you know, oh, well, look at that. This this item has been selling, selling pretty constantly. Um, this item you sell for almost 40K and you might, you might can get this sold maybe the day of or tomorrow. Um, there are also other items as well. Uh, Manor bookshelves is even higher, although this has been selling not as constantly. However, though, people are still buying it to this day because they probably have a house, lucky for them. Um, but you can go through all of this, see what you can craft, uh, see, you know, what your level crafting is and so forth. And you can see that, you know, these items just want to pop, sell for pretty high. And this item has been constantly as well. White screen, I know, is, um, is low, but... Oh, actually, it's not. This has been not as constant. This you can tell was constant based on the um, the patch. Um, let me see here. Marble alcove bed. This is huge. 81k, and then people have been buying it recently, so that's good. Uh, so again, furniture uh, right now is good, and it can be sold high and can 
wait there if you're not a you know an active player you can leave it there maybe put it at a low ball price and then sell it that is a good enough guild process that you can go to and of course it's a good time now because patch 5.35 hit uh, a week ago or two weeks ago and of course everyone has a house uh, and they want to get furniture and they're you know they're probably lazy to craft them so uh, there you go you can go into furniture another path that you can go to which does well, which do involve a lot more research um, is armor and weapons now of course that's vague there is a lot of um, armor and weapons however though um, you this is this is kind of to be expected um, the high the highest level weapons that can be crafted and put into the market are going to be sold the highest right everyone knows Neo Guardian is is a high very high level level 80 um, what is it, level 80 armor and weapons for for any class and you can tell that like by clicking on one these are being sold for this amount of price high quality you can get these for this much this has been selling pretty well um as you can see you know this has been selling around 50k and this is like an item and most of these neo-ish guardians as well can be sold pretty high if you do make them in high quality if you can't make them high quality it's still fine people will still buy in lower quality but it will be a drop in price but you can tell here that if you can make these high quality items that you can get this amount of gill pretty quickly uh and i and i actually mean that actually uh pretty quickly because a lot of these items have been selling in the past uh day past you know two days and so forth so this has been a good time to sell however this is also a good item that you can make and kind of leave it in the market and, and then wait maybe a couple days and sure enough it'll get sold um and so forth if not you might want to lower your price a bit so this has been good now let's say that you can't craft those armor and weapons well um you can go into a website called garlandtools.org um and you can look at leveling gear for a type of class now a lot of the people who buy uh, armor weapons is not only for the highest level but for uh, milestone levels is what i call that means level 50 level 60 or level 70. Uh, these gear, um, if you look into Garland Tools, find, um, let's say I want to find Paladin. Um, I go for leveling Paladin in Garland Tools and I look at level 70 gear. Now here it shows you the best gear to get for a level 70 Paladin for, um, uh, for what they need. Um, the best one they can get. Here for Paladin, the sword that they can get is a Deep Gold Annalise. If we look into uh, the market, see how much that is. This here is not being sold as much because it is, of course, a lower level weapon. But uh, this is another item that if you might want to sell, if you want to keep, just keep it in your retainer slot for a little bit. Um, Deep Gold Annalise is really good itself. Um, if you want to look for armor as well, here for Paladin, it uses uh, Deep Gold uh, Curious um, uh, Fending. This here costs a good amount as well, about 28000 35000 This has been sold, uh, this is from the past week. So as you can see, you know, this is pretty good for uh, items that you might want to just leave in your retainers for a couple days, maybe a week, and you can see that you can get that money back. So those are the items that I believe, those are the trends that you can go to that you can gain items. I think that's probably the best way uh, to go for. It all depends on your activeness in Final Fantasy XIV and see of how active you want to be in the market. You know, this might be your best friends and that's completely fine. Try to make a lot of gill as you can and, you know, see enough that you might be in the millions. I'm right now been in the millions and will hopefully be in the billions later on um so i hope i hope the best for you guys and do tell me your other opinions about uh selling um i hope this helps a lot for you guys i know it's been a lot of explaining but you know that's that's completely fine and i want to help you guys out as best as i can so any questions leave them in the comments and i will try to answer them uh as best to, as possible Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is Dorian. I wish you guys all uh, a wonderful day.